Nina. And I'm Faith. And we are Taste Buds. The focus of this show is to teach you how to make sweet and savory dishes in your kitchen. We're taking knowledge from one generation and passing it to the next. On today's show, we're going to learn how to handle knives. There are two kinds of knives that you can buy. There's a good quality and then there's the best quality. The difference is that this one will last you a lifetime and then some. Good quality knives are knives that you can pass down to your children. And we're going to learn how to use them. The good quality knife is the one where the blade runs all the way through the handle. And what can happen with this is this wood can break off eventually, but they're, these knives are pressed by machine. These are not fabulous knives. These knives, you can see they have this little dent here. That's a heavy piece of metal, and these have to be hand sculpted. What happens in this knife is you can see the blade runs all the way through. It gets thicker here, and it goes thin, thin, thin down to the bottom. So these knives can be used to make little small cuts and things, like a little mushroom cap. Maybe you want to do a tiny little work. Or you can use this heavy end, the heel of the knife, for heavy chopping. Now, any vegetable or fruit that you're cutting, the flat side down is always the safest way to cut. And in a piece of celery, unless you want a full cut like that, what you can do is divide and conquer. So you want to cut down. I'm going to have you do this one, Faith. Okay. You take your knife, put it in the middle, put the flat side down. Perfect. Put your knife. Perfect. And then just cut straight down. Use the heel of the knife and cut through. Good. All of them? You don't have to because this gives you a nice little handle. I like keeping that on. So now I want you to make your fingers like a, like a claw and you're going to keep your fingertips tucked under and hold it right on like the this? edge. Well, keep your fingertips under like that. You're holding your knife perfectly, by the way. That's perfect. Now put the blade of the knife up against your knuckles and away, angle it away. Perfect. And then chop. And again. And just keep going. And after a while, you know, this is like any skill. Right now, you might feel clumsy, but the more you do it, the better you become. Keep your fingers up on top of the food. Perfect. And then chop. And then when you're ready to go down, you're doing it already, but I'm going to tell you just for demonstration purposes. What you do is you use this hand to creep down the food like that, but you're already doing it. You're doing a great job. So you chop. Move your fingers, chop. Now, there's another thing I want to show you. There's two ways to chop. You're chopping like this, and that's perfectly fine. I, I do that too. In fact, you can do it really fast when you get good at it. I'm not going to do that now. But the other thing to do is you can go from the tip to the heel and rock back and forth. And it's just a matter of whatever you're comfortable with and your skill level. But here, take mine. Now you can finish mine. Now it doesn't need to be that exaggerated, but again, it's a skill that when you're more comfortable, you'll just get better and better at it. Excellent. Faith, what did you learn today? Um, well, today I learned that you should always hold your knife. If you hold your knife like this, you have a lot of control over it. But if you hold it like, like that? Well, a lot of people, what I see is people holding, and I see real cooks do this, they hold their knife like this, but you don't have any control. Something hits your arm, and boom, you're off. If you hold it like this, and you have a loose grip, and someone bumps into you, you can grab it 
quickly and you have a lot of control over your knife. So this grip is very important. But the other thing I hope that you learned is that you're, you cut away from yourself always. Always cut away. So you don't like cut off your finger. That's or right. Just cut a little bit. We want to keep fingers. Yeah. And the other thing is that whenever you cut with something that's round, maybe a piece of celery or a green pepper, you want to cut it so that the flat side is always down. Cut it flat, flat side down, and you're nice and safe. And remember, good food always tastes better with your butt. So join us next time on Taste Buds.